with that ow, ow, ow sound that they make. Oh! <laughs> Collision course with one of the females. Listen to this. Some of those sounds that they make. They're just so incredibly special. <laughs> so playful. <laughs> I'm scared of repositioning, but I think that we're going to have to. I stopped here so that we had signal just so you could see them talking to their mum and each other. But now they've moved into a slightly trickier spot. I'm hoping we don't lose signal if we go a little bit further forward. Oh, battering each other. We won't go too far down. Let's do. Let's try it that way. We'll just go far enough that we can see. Oh goodness, VR rig. Oh, I have to turn on. Don't want to scratch the lenses at all. Whew, just missed. Okay. How's your view there, Jandre? Keeps us a little bit higher. I don't want to go right down in there in case we lose signal. Let's just have a look. We've got a view of the little cubs. Let me take my foot off the brake, sorry. We've got a view of the little cubs and whilst we don't have the best view of the kill, um, I think that most of you by now have got the idea if you were watching from the start of the Sunrise Safari. We do have the lioness feeding. I think that will be our approach. I think if we sit here and we can keep signal a little bit, it might be the best way of going about things. Amber Eyes is munching away. She definitely seemed to be the hungriest yesterday. Oh, little cub. Now, speaking about Amber Eyes and the fact that she very often initiates the hunts, that the Inkahumas go on. Brenda, you wanted to know what position Amber Eyes adopted in the kill yesterday. Honestly, Brenda, it was so chaotic, I'm not 100% sure. I think that she might have been the one that was clinging to the top of the buffalo, but I really honestly don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look back on the footage to try and see which lioness was, where exactly Amber Eyes was in all of that chaos. It was just so much to, to look at and to watch and to concentrate on in terms of where we were driving that I really don't know. Jandre, I don't think you would have noticed either. Jandre was busy concentrating on filming. This little cub has found a stump, which might be the best toy ever invented. I love them. They're so cute. The way that they, they make anything a toy, it's just utterly adorable. This one's got a stump. The one on the right, I don't think Jandre has the best view of, but it's got a piece of bark that is now its chew toy. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Such cute noises. Fierce little lion roars, sort of. And then Amber Eyes has shifted herself around to start feeding in the carcass. And since we were last here, they've devoured most of the neck and the muscles. And they've started entering into the chest cavity. Just bear with me one second. I just need to chat to Vernon. I do, standing by. Absolutely, you're welcome to make your way. I think Ephraim's pulled out of this sighting just off Nyala Road North. So you're welcome to come. Look at 
it fiercely going about the very serious business of feeding, which is really tricky when you've got little baby milk teeth. And it looks as though we're actually going to be able to spend the rest of the sunrise safari with these little things, which is so incredibly exciting. And here, another lioness. Can't see her at the moment. We are going to need to do some shuffling around, which means that I'm going to have to give up this position, and that could mean that we are going to lose our signal. So just bear that in mind. Vern